Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Susan and this is My Cozy Kitchen. The holiday season is fast approaching. There are a lot of times and events that you need something to snack on. This is one of my favorites. What am I making? Jalapeno poppers. I'm making a relatively small amount. You can make more or less depending on what you want to do. I have seven jalapenos. I've already washed these seven jalapenos. Now I'm going to cut off the ends just because I don't like having this end on there when I'm eating it. I will have it, seed it, and then just give it another rinse to make sure I get all of the seeds out of there. I'll also be deveining because I want the flavor of the jalapeno without the heat okay so let's get started doing that now as always i have a little bag and now i'm going to use it as my garbage bag so i will be tossing all of the pieces of jalapeno in there and this is a really neat way to see it just grab a spoon that's kind of pointed and so i'm going to run my spoon down through there and just pop all of that stuff out and you see how I was able to get the majority of the vein the seeds everything and just straight into the bag so I will continue I'll continue doing that with all seven of these and then I'll be right back okay we have the jalapenos halved seeded, rinsed, dried, and back in the bowl. So it's time to get the cat off the counter and then start mixing the filling for, yeah, there she goes. Time to start mixing the filling for the jalapeno poppers. I have my stand mixer and the first thing that's going to go in that, a block of cream cheese that I've softened to room temperature. I just pulled it out earlier this morning and let it start warming up. You can use regular cream cheese or if you prefer you can use a lower fat. Either will work. On goes the paddle attachment. Lock it in and I'm going to turn this on a fairly low speed just to mix the cream cheese. Make it nice and creamy. Okay, now that the cream cheese is creamed, let me lift this back. And I have a quarter cup of sausage crumbles, prepackaged, already fully cooked, so I measured out a quarter cup, tossed them in a frying pan, and I merely cooked them until they were thawed and slightly browned. So in goes that. There's the quarter cup. I'm going to use a spatula and scrape the sides of my mixing bowl just so that everything you know, gets pulled off the sides and will mix together and back down and mixing again all right this is my trick I add a little bit of powdered sugar it also helps to cut the heat and gives it that little extra something. I'm going to start with a tablespoon. So let's... I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And just to make things easy, I'm going to line a baking sheet with some foil purely because I'm lazy. It makes the clean up easier. I'm not worried about sticking because I'm wrapping my jalapeno poppers with bacon. It's going to grease the thing itself, so I'm not going to even bother spraying it with anything. I think it's going to be just fine. Now, let's work on putting these together. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just pull out a small bit of the cream cheese mixture and just spread it in there. I don't want to overfill, don't want to underfill. And I will keep doing this 
until they're all filled. All right, time for the next part of the process, wrapping with bacon. About half a slice of bacon per topper should be sufficient. If these were smaller, I would use a third of a slice. Since these are a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, I'm going to use a half slice. I like to start it at one end. I like to start down here at the end that is open and I like to cover the end with the bacon just to help hold the cream cheese in there. And then I wrap it around. I end it on the bottom so that it kind of stays together and then onto my pan. I'll keep doing this until I have them all wrapped. When you're finished wrapping your jalapeno poppers with the bacon, give your hands a good wash and then into the oven these go. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I will make sure the bacon is done and that the jalapeno is getting nice and soft. As always, the full recipe, instructions, tips, tricks, thoughts, whatever, will be in the description box below. Be sure to check that out and if you haven't already, please do follow me on social media. Links to my Instagram and Facebook accounts are there while you're there. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure and give it a big thumbs up. I do appreciate that. If you've not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you find out every time I upload a new video to YouTube. Okay, it's been 30 minutes since I put these in. I checked at 20, checked at 25. Now at 30, I'm taking them out because it's starting to get really browned, like here on the jalapeno poppers. The cheese is starting to brown. I don't want it to burn. I'm gonna have an afternoon snack and have about two to three of them. I know it's perfectly savory, perfectly delightful, a little sharp, a little sweet, a little smoky, and completely delicious. Thank you for joining me today on Susan's Cozy Kitchen. God bless.